horror author William Patterson, a.k.a. Eric Morris. And welcome to my world. So sit back and experience a new dimension in talk. And make sure to have your lucky cup of coffee here because this is the coffee vlog. Yes, it does. First thing in the morning, I pour myself a cup. It, it helps me get myself going. It helps to wake me. Goran scares, everybody. This is William Patterson, a.k.a. Eric Morris. And I want to welcome you to this new edition of the William Patterson Coffee Blog. Sippy, sippy. Alrighty, yeah, it's been a, it's been a while since uh, I've done a coffee vlog. Um, mainly the reason why I haven't done anything for the last month is because of that severe eye infection that I had. My entire right eye swelled up incredibly. I looked like fucking Rocky Balboa, and after that. I got kind of like a severe lung infection where I wasn't even uh, hardly able to talk for several days and that. So, not a good situation. But now I am back. Yes, indeed, I'm back. And here's a little update on stuff. Uh, right now, you can get, uh, a brand new book that author David Zernhelt has just released, Crystal Lake Diaries, History, Locations, and the Untold. Now, this book tells a lot about, uh... The original Friday the 13th, a lot of background information that Peter Brake did not put into uh, Crystal Lake Memories, the supposed uh, uh, complete history of Friday the 13th, which, honestly, I can tell you, it's not true. There's a lot more to the history of Friday the 13th, and... David Zernhelt is adding another piece to the puzzle. In this book, you're going to get a lot of stories uh, from, you know, different people from the locations, uh, interviews with the actors, and all kinds of stuff. Uh, he's even included a section in this book uh, on me and uh, my dealings with author Peter Brake when he was uh, writing Crystal Lake Memories and my experiences with the people who were doing the Crystal Lake Memories documentary film. Also, he has a complete uh, uh, section on my Camp Crystal Lake novels, as well as he he wanted to get into the subject of bullying, so I wrote him a section on my experiences with bullying as well. I know it sounds odd in regard to Friday the 13th, but a number of actors in uh, the Friday the 13th fold have been cyber-stalked, you know, and bothered on the internet and in real life with real stalkers. And you get some of that in here. Now, if you want to get a copy of this book, 
you just have to go to author david dot webs dot com and you will find it either that or just google in crystal lake diaries and you'll find it also i would like to mention of course my little baby here psychotic state the novel you can find that on in amazon.com just put in uh, psychotic state the novel and if you're a william pattison eric morris fan you will absolutely love this book i have you know this is a whole new ki killer whole new situation uh you're going to love what i've done i've created a very three-dimensional ki killer in this and it's told from his point of view and the point of view of the detective that's going after him and it features some of the best kills that i have come up with so if you're an eric morris uh william pattison uh fan and you love my work go on amazon.com and get your copy of psychotic state it is in hardback and it is in ebook formats so you know you have no excuse it's great all righty also I am happy to say that we are on the last leg when it comes to uh, getting ready to publish my new book, the first in my six-part anthology series, Symphony of Death. That... The first short story is going to be a special one because it is a story that I grabbed from the Saskas. It was uh, one of their thrown away scripts that uh, I was supposed to work with them on called Bob. But I have taken this script and I have redone it in my own style and I've created an incredible story called Robert Diablo and it's something different from anything that I've done you will love Symphony of Death uh, part one it is quite an intense uh, read I mean even the prologue is going to just blow you away but that book is supposed to come out either the end of Ju June or sometime in July. Uh, I'm still waiting for confirmation from Linkville Press on when it's going to come out. But it should be within that time frame. And currently I am also working on Symphony of Death Part 2. And the main story on that one is a book adaptation of a screenplay that I wrote for the film anthology, The Horror Seasons. And this story, The Darkest Secret, is an incredible story. It's uh, the story of a man who's trying to get away from his past, but his past follows him, literally. And it is just a freaky story. I am just really loving how it's turning out. And I know my fans are absolutely going to enjoy that as well. Also, I mean, you know, if, if you don't want to get your uh, copy of Psychotic State from uh, 
Amazon.com. You can now wait and get a copy right from me at Martinsville Horror Fest. I am actually going to be there, and I'm going to be part of the Friday the 13th experience. They're going to have actors from Friday the 13th, Friday the 13th Part 2, and Friday the 13th Part 6 and 7. And, you know, just a whole bunch of horror personalities and stuff. It's it's going to be a great time. And I'm highly looking forward to going there and meeting my fans again and signing some books for you and hanging out. I want to hang out with my fans. Because you know what, you guys are so important to me. I mean, seriously. And it, you're not you're not a wallet to me. You're not anything like that. You know, you fans mean a lot to me because if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have come back into horror. And it's been incredible for me. So Everything that I've done, every future project, is going to be because of my fans. And I appreciate that. So, just remember, uh, Martinsville Horror Fest in Martinsville, Virginia. And it's going to be October 23rd through the 26th. And at the uh, Dutch Inn. And, I mean, you're, you're going to have a good time, and ticket prices are not outrageous. Nothing on this convention is outrageously priced, so, you know, just be ready to come, have fun, and have a good time at a convention without feeling like you've been uh, fleeced. Honestly, because seriously, you come to my play, my table, it's going to be $10 for an autograph, $20 for a book, which is not at, you know, which is not too bad. And I'll have uh, cards done up so that you can get, you know, copy, you know, copies on digital format of Robert Diablo when it comes out. So, you know, it'll be a great time. Anyway, so that was that was a little short update for you. And keep America strong, watch horror films, and drink your coffee. And enjoy! You are, you are not, not ego, ego cases. cases. You, you are, are not sheep. sheep. You, you are, are wolf pack. pack.